He's your weed man lying, talking about he five minutes away when he know he at the house. There's got to be a better way. Let's build one. Previously on Rivergate, I stuck these two condos on this side of the train station to make some residents travel to this side so I can see which paths they take. We never finished it. Let's finish it now. I'm going to start with one piece of canal. Y'all have seen me do this. We're going to use an asset from the workshop. It's one of the water park assets. Let that fill up, and we're going to start working on some pathing. Now, normally, I use these as like little park assets or whatever. I make like little custom parks, but this is going to be kind of like... I don't know, like a small event space or something. I went on a workshop looking for all kind of assets. I was really hoping I would have found some like assets, some animated assets with some older people doing Tai Chi. Like some older Asian folks doing Tai Chi like they be doing in New York. Oh, that would have been so lit, man. But I couldn't find anything like that. Y'all let me know in the comments. What do y'all think we could turn this little area into? Maybe an outside art exhibit. Uh, I don't know, man. Yoga studio. There ain't no yoga assets. They got yoga mat assets on the workshop. I don't think so, but we're going to detail it up as if we know what it's going to be. And then we'll just let the comments uh, give us maybe some inspiration and some ideas. But that part of this is finished. We need to go ahead and finish the housing around here. And we need to add a few little commercial assets. Y'all know I love my little shop front assets. I'm going to add a couple of those to some of the bigger buildings. Then we go lay down some of these. Um, I think these are uh, the wall to wall condos. I think that's the type of asset these are. Wall to wall condos on the workshop. Little bit of detailing to make the front side of these look done. It's a small little piece of land right here that kind of starts to take a turn. So I just wanted to make this all look nice and complete for the cinematics using some of those mixed use condos on that corner. And I'm gonna throw a little basketball court right here. The land is still a little soggy, but we'll work that out. Don't worry. And I'm gonna use some of our tunnel assets instead of using like a raised path for people to get to the train station down to this condo area. They can just use one of our little tunnel assets. We're gonna connect everything up and then we'll throw a little detail around it to make it look a little nice. A lot of people pass by it. We want it to look nice. The next thing I need to do is add a little condo right here on the corner. And I'm actually, you'll see me recolor this. It looks like it's, it looks like a part of the other building. We'll throw some flowers down and then we'll hit it with that recolor. Bam, come on man, this is definitely looking spiffy. Let's detail. couldn't figure out what to do with that little block so we made it into a construction site uh y'all saw the thumbnail let's get into it that's right y'all come on down to Devereaux farms man we got that johnny frank og pack we got that mad madison pack that's right we are gonna build a weed farm now i've never seen anybody even attempt to do something like this and it, it, look trapping ain't dead niggas just scared they don't want their little pages to get limited or they probably don't want their mamas to get mad at them when they see that they built a weed farm on their video game me i don't got them type of rules so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay out a little road network right here 
and we're gonna use some blank farm assets. Y'all can see me right here kind of dialing back some of that fertility. I'm gonna use some blank farm assets. I do want crop trucks to come up out my weed fields, but I don't want it to be like crazy. This ain't the in industry DLC. This the drug smuggling DLC. Right here, y'all can see me working with the weed plant props and some mulch props. It's, everything's real clean right now. We're gonna dirty it all up. We're gonna make it look overgrown. We're really gonna make it look like this has been here for a while. Anybody that's been kind of paying attention to the history of my city, you might have to go back a few episodes to get caught up. But this is definitely a Devereaux property. The Devereaux's been doing dirt since been doing dirt since been doing dirt. dirt. So along with our Swamp Town property that y'all saw us build a few episodes back, I just wanted to build another piece of that living history. This is theirs. They own it. They still work it. They still getting money off of it. Right now, I'm just using some of the decals to kind of mess everything up it's not gonna be clean looking like this when i get done y'all ought to know me by now man y'all got to have faith like george michael and them i always put the sauce on last right now we just getting the layout i'm laying out a few residential properties as i go and of course again we laying out some greenhouses because everything out here ain't some outdoor trust and believe the stuff in the greenhouses is that premium gas and they probably selling genetics they can customize strains they doing stuff like that i mean when you a small farm you gotta you gotta diversify your bonds you gotta figure out another way to make the paper stack up like like it would if you had one of those giant farms so you can see me laying out a few more of the trailer assets definitely gonna hit these with a lot of detail a lot of decals really want to make it look overgrown and well lived in also, on the opposite side of this street, we are going to lay out a disused runway. Like, and I mean, when I say runway, I don't mean like from an airport. I mean like from smuggling. They probably used to move that cocaine. All that, man. These people been doing dirt for a long time. Long, long time, man. So, I just want to show some of that history. We not hiding from it in Rivergate. We not whitewashing it. We ain't making it G-rated. We ain't doing none of that. Like, look at that little girl. She's standing right in front of where they moving that dope. She know what's going on, man. Let's detail. So I was definitely done right here. You can see I got the closest thing to what looks like it possibly could be weed and some duffel bags and stacks and stuff. That's cool. But it doesn't give me criminal lair vibes, man. I need criminal lair. I need stronghold. I need villainous vibes up in here. So I got to build me a little platform. All the best villains got platforms and they stand up on their platform and they make plans and they give orders and they give speeches sometime. You know, they say, oh, we're going today. We're going to do a lot of crime. Like we got to sell more drugs. We gotta make more crimes happen. But whatever, I don't know what they do. I've never really been in a criminal lair. I'm just, this is actually something I'm building from a movie. I know criminals, they don't have lairs. You talk to them in their living room, they ain't, or they'll text you, they don't have lairs. But I wanted to build something like the movie. So y'all can see me right here, I'm working with these platform assets that I knew they, they weren't gonna just fit straight up and down. I knew I was gonna have to PO this to death. So I'm trying to build a sort of realistic way of getting up here using different levels and layers and then i'm going to use some of these rail props to try to make it at least seem like it's lined up i mean i don't want people just falling over the side we're criminals but safety first and we're also going to use just pieces of it to make like the little poles this definitely took a little bit longer than i thought it was but the more i did the more i was like yo i want to see if i can do it i could have always quit you know if it turned out whack i can quit anytime but i wanted to see if i could make it look at least passable the one thing that i know i wasn't able to achieve is i was not able to achieve any realistic cross beams in between these little beams down here i really felt like if it's scaffolding it would have had cross beams i tried y'all maybe somebody can link me to a cross beam asset just the x part but when i tried to make my own it just didn't look realistic at all so we're gonna stack some stuff up under here if it is a platform you definitely will be hiding all types of knickknacks and stuff underneath this little blank area you got the space you might as well use it 
I'm going to tuck me some a motorbike under here too, man. Like I said, they're not broke, man. They're definitely getting money, even though the area is rusty. It's just the tale of two cities, man. It's the tale of light-skinned, hacker, dope-dealing, murderous, evil niggas versus bald head, business suit, villain from Tyler Perry movie, evil niggas. They all evil, though. Everybody's doing dirt, man. We're just watching one, per one side of the dirt right now, and that's the Devil Road side. I found a few assets on the workshop that I feel like work really well. The hacker desk assets, a few screens and things. I'm even going to take me a moment and use PO to take an animated tennis screen. I think they're playing a tennis match on that screen. I got the game on pause, I think. Or I think it's frozen because I'm using PO. But when you, you'll see it in the cinematics, people playing tennis on that screen. Obviously, no real work is going on on that screen. A few duffel bags up here with some stacks in it. And then we got to put some drip up here too, man. You know these dudes be fresh. They getting drug money. You definitely be fresh. You definitely be looking like a trapper when you walk in the building. You know what I'm talking about? And then we're going to put like a little DJ set up up here, man. My man probably be doing the EDM or something. Look, you're getting money. You start getting into weird hobbies. I don't know, man. But we got to hang some string lights up here too, man. Just so it's a little extra something. And that pretty much does it for this episode. I know I had to talk a lot because I felt like speeding it up took all of the potency out. It, you, you didn't get the story the story matters on why i just built all that stuff make sure if you haven't seen it go check out some of the hidden legacy parts i might even put that together in a whole compilation y'all continue to like comment subscribe we putting out the sauce this rivergate i'm red kool-aid i love y'all no pause